Okay, so now we'll see difference between integer array and character array. Now let's see the difference between the integer array and character array. Ultimately, it's an array, but how it stores the data is a different. So then let's see that uh, how it works. When I say that uh, when I say integer array integer a of 10 now we know that how it will store the uh, data but when I say character let's say name of 10 even we know that how to store the data in the uh, character array but how it stores actually inside the memory that we will see so here I have let's take two different arrays okay so I'm just highlighting um let's take integer array first okay so integer array so this is let's say my integer array one i'm giving the name a one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and the index would be zero one two three four five six seven eight nine this is my integer array that's it but character array character array is little bit different how what is the name of this character array guys name name very good so it's a name and the total 10 places okay so let's start with the one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and let's give the index name zero one two three four five six seven eight, and nine now uh in the previous uh, uh one we have already discussed that how in uh, it stores the integer value let's put some value uh 10 20 30 40 up to 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's say. So here I know that I simply need to rotate the loop 10 times. And every time I'll have to ask to the user to enter the data. Right? We have just seen that how it works. But what about the character array? So let's say because if we have taken the name, name, so let me write. A statement for that let's say um, print f enter name what would be the scanner statement guys percent c uh, no percent s so can i take scan either scan f or the get s anyone Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Get us. Yeah. Let's say I'm saying I'm taking scanf. Then uh, okay. Fill the gap, guys. Percentage. Percentage. Very good. Percentage. And here. I'm percent. percent name. 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 Very good. No subscript. Keep in mind. No subscript. Okay. Only. Only. Uh, the name of the array only so this or what other statement we can write guys get this and then in brackets name get this and inside the bracket name right so so for this we have two different uh, for this we have two different statements this 
right so when you write either of this statement and let's say i have uh, entered the value let's say some big name um let me write my name it is big enough um it's a k h u s h b w so eight letters are there how it will store actually it will store k h u s h b o o this way it will store see guys when we were using when we were entering the data inside the um, integer array the scenario was different but when you store the data inside the character array it stores individual letters individual characters so this way it will store and one most 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 important thing because um how how the system or a compiler will come to know that this is the end of the string end of the name let's say kushbu is there and let's say some other name let's say jay so in this case if i say jay in that that case only three places i need and for the this name i need eight places then how this because see in the integer array in the integer array we were knowing that only 10 numbers i am going to insert but what about this how will i come to know that what is the end of the my string or the end of the array for that uh listen me carefully for that whenever you add whenever you insert or whenever you use the character array always after inserting the data it will automatically put the null it put the null so this this we call the null 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 this is null the meaning of null is a full stop it will tell to the system it will tell to the compiler that data has been entered in the character array and this is the end this is the end understood everyone yes ma'am so the similar way so the similar way let's say if i want to insert this name inside the memory then how many locations it will require uh let me draw the array yes you don't need to uh insert or add the null character explicitly no it will automatically add so here i have array the name array i have 0 1 2 and 3 and i am going to insert this name so j a y and when when after inserting j on the console and when you will press the enter when you will hit the enter key at that moment it will insert the null character at the end so automatically it will come to know that okay in this array i have total three values and if we talk about this one here i have total eight characters understood everyone Yes, yes so this is the basic difference this is the basic difference between the integer array and character array that how it actually stores the data and the most important part in this uh, is null the sign of the null is this backslash and the zero this you have to use for the null and this null this null indicates the end of the array end of the character array hmm. character array clear everyone yes ma'am 